three in four workers say AI reduced productivity and increased workloads according to a recent Upwork survey. But what they're reporting on this is not sharing is why. You see, there are three things you need to know that are essential to boosting productivity using AI and four strategies you must deploy to create a business without limits without experiencing a decrease in productivity in the AI era. I made the prediction that AI would decrease productivity in my new book, The Wolf is at the Door. To get a free chapter that reveals game-changing AI strategies and bonus tools to supercharge your productivity, scan the QR code or click the link below. The fact is, we are fast entering an era where AI rookies are at risk of being replaced, where future makers are ready to rise. The difference between the two is understanding the dynamics of how AI is reshaping our work and the ability to foresee challenges that causes AI to stall productivity. The first reason AI reduces productivity is because it speeds up production time and the flow of information. Sounds great, but think about it. We've moved from waiting for a proposal a week or more to getting it in days, if not hours. Outreach emails that took hours to personalize and research can be done in seconds and fully automated, overwhelming inboxes. Content strategies that took days of research can be done in hours, if not fully automated and sent to your inbox by an AI agent daily. But the bottom line is a human still needs to review and execute. We're starting to see the disconnects occurring that I predicted in my book, and that is humans' cognitive ability to make decisions fast and review this tsunami of AI-generated content lags behind technology that doesn't need a day off. Workers are beginning to experience decision fatigue at an exponential rate due to this. We're experiencing cognitive overload. AI isn't the backlog. We are. The second reason AI reduces productivity is not using it to analyze and process this new influx of information, largely due to a lack of systems in place and a failure to understand AI fundamentals, such as establishing automated AI workflows and training models to reduce errors and review time. But listen closely, because here's something no one else is gonna tell you. This is a double-edged sword. AI tools that summarize content often miss out on nuance. Your number one skill to stand out against a flood of AI generated content are details that are inaccessible anywhere else, thereby increasing your potential to charge a premium and remain relevant. On one hand, we increase productivity with AI. On the other, we risk our competitive advantage. So how do you increase productivity using AI against the headwind of these challenges? First, you nail the fundamentals. AI literacy is a must for ensuring you're using it to optimize every aspect of your workflow. One way you can test your AI skills is by taking the free AI quiz shared in the link below to help you identify what your knowledge gaps are and how to close them with a suite of free resources. The second is to treat AI like a team member. It's gonna make mistakes, but if you're not training it effectively like I teach, it will waste your time and you will get frustrated. When you spend the time learning how to train it, just like you would an employee, you spend less time reviewing and making edits than if you took a haphazard approach, saving you both time and money. Third, you must identify the unintended consequences of being a user or having others using it to process your increased output, whether that be outreach emails, press releases, proposals, and content. For example, the trend of using AI bots to fill out job applications has overwhelmed some companies. To combat this, AI is now reviewing the applications, or in one instance, a company shut down their online application process and went back to snail mail. To be successful and productive in business, you must possess the skill to get past the gatekeeper to get to the decision maker. The gatekeeper of today isn't a human anymore. It's fast becoming AI. If you're unaware of the unintended consequences, you'll become an AI rookie that risks being replaced. Fourth, 
It isn't just about learning how to use AI. It's also about your ability to manage your emotional state effectively as we undergo this change to ensure that you stay focused. I break this down in the free chapter that I'm giving you. You see, this influx of information triggers a state of hypervigilance by throwing us into a position of making high stakes decisions in rapid succession. Yet we're not designed for this. Humans require time to incubate and formulate and consider all of the factors. AI, of course, can help you in the analysis of the decision-making process, but your own intuition and experience still plays a key role as AI continues to hallucinate and combine fact with fiction. But the biggest impediment to using AI for superhuman productivity is people's inability to foresee these challenges and prepare for them head on, which is why we're seeing shocking survey results like this. We're now a year and a half into generative AI being widely available, and yet 99% of people still aren't prepared. Instead of elevating people to future makers, AI is turning people into rookies in a world that has changed, but they haven't. That's why there's three ways I can help you for free. The first, a free chapter from my book, The Wolf is at the Door, to understand these changes and why they're occurring. The second, through the free AI guides on marketing and prompt engineering. And the third, the free AI quiz to help you get a baseline of your AI literacy skills to help close the gap. Hit the link below to get started now because change can be cruel if you don't keep up. And using AI does not guarantee you won't be replaced by it.